here I go. This is a vlog update for 2024 and my intention. I wanted to put it out there before I start sharing other things that are very important to me that I hope it serves you as well. Okay, so fast forward fast summary. In the past two years, I've been taking myself out of what I've been doing in the past two plus years. And the past one year, I have been focusing more on my body, paying more attention about what it needs by giving it what it needs, by physical activity, by what I eat, and really start to understand how the body works. And I've also learned and take participate in a teacher training course in Bali last year where I get involved, I get to understand and be more aware about somatic experience, the understanding of the internal experience of my body via movements, awareness from different parts of the body. So that's what I've been focusing on at the same time there's also personal matter that I have to deal with that I am also spending quite a lot of energy there to make sure things are going through smoothly and apparently things are coming to quite an interesting episode right now and so I'm ready to share this with you meaning that I'm thinking more I have clearing out a lot of stuff Decluttering works, really works physically, digitally, mental junk, emotionals as well, emotions, attachments, uh, beliefs. So decluttering has been served me really well. So it allows me to make space and create what I wanted to create and focus on. So if one thing that you really want to move on but you find yourself can't, the first thing I would suggest is decluttering. If you start with physical first, it's so much easier, yeah? And then I started to focus more on my own creation that I, what I want, like what I want to put it out there, how can I help myself by helping others, help others by helping myself in, in this sense. So I know that things that I'm very curious and passionate about, it's about the body. Besides the body, I also love to do something creative fun expressions like dance, arts. So I'm combining all of them while I'm also going to further study. But while before I come to further study, I would like to share this. The mind is constantly looking for the future and ensuring that there are certainties, you know, ensuring that it's controlling to every detail to make sure things happen because it protects you from danger it, one, the intention is that and so we're constantly living in the mind the head telling ourselves to keep going, striving, pursuing but we sometimes, a lot of times we forgot about this present moment what this body is experiencing, what the heart is experiencing and we just go with the mind so a lot of times we find ourselves burned out felt so tired after throughout the day and you just don't want to do anything and you just keep repeating the same thing and same thing again and all you want to do is just take a break from life right i've experienced this and i realized that to okay some people they have, we all have different coping mechanisms my coping coping mechanisms is true I have this tendency to avoid and to retreat to really to you know just sometimes I'll just numb myself and stick to the screens and you know I'm addicted to certain emotions that I wanted to feel so I would have this very narrow focus looking at things and then I don't really care about what's happening outside of me that's a kind of coping mechanism and it's okay it's not wrong but when it is your life started to get influenced by this habit, this addiction, it is more harmful, it is more harmful than beneficial, right? So you can think for yourself. So when I realize that I'm doing something repeatedly, but it doesn't serve me, so I wanted to change. So how can I change? I have also went to experience different retreats. Retreats, travels does help. Different substances 
mind altered experience yes does help what else there's a certain kind of fruits foods or supplements yes does help mentor guidance yes does help but it does not sustain let's say you i experienced this great surge i hiked to a mountain but i have to come down that means to move long term the fluctuation when it's too big when it comes down to a crash it almost like feels like i can't move on anytime every time i feel so well and i will come back to my personal life my back to my home my my comfort zone i felt like i couldn't move forward things just didn't change maybe just an inch so that is my discovery and i realized what really important is come back to my daily practice what i do every day come back to my habits so the most important thing is habits really so this is where i'm going to focus on right now when i started to take care of my body since last year physical how physical activity that i focus on and this year i started to focus on sleep my sleep quality and quantity frequency in routine and then what i eat what i fit to my body how i eat and then these are the really little tools. So these are the three basic tools that I discovered, and I want to put it in a very um, sexy way where you would feel interested to make shift. Because in the past, I always overlook this thing. I don't pay attention to this stuff because I want to fly. I aim for a sky, and I could totally relate to you. We always want something better, but man. I realized if I don't focus, if I do not have a stable foundation, I'm not going anywhere. It just always brings me back to the starting point. So this is why I'm so passionate to share about this. And I've always wanted to, I have this dream that I want to create, but I don't have the capacity, the energy, the health, the state allows me to continuously build it. But you can build it with a lot of force, but when you stop, you psh, so a lot of people don't allow them to stop because they would and they don't know how to process it. If you want to create your own reality, I would suggest you to start by mastering your body. Because as within, so without. So whatever happening out there comes from here. Whatever happening in the galaxy, if you're curious about what's happening out there, a lot of, a lot of people want you to exit the matrix but matrix means mother you want to exit your mother because it's very natural for us because we come from a mother womb and we want to exit and we want to search for the father's sky the holy holy sun and stuff like that but when you realize that you are the mother and you're the father you're not going anywhere because you embody both of them and you're just going to be experiencing and enjoy life this is for the spiritual people and if you let's say you want to earn more money you want to like gain more energy you want to feel good you want to be more confident hey by taking care of these three needs you're doing what you're basically building up yourself towards your goal and you're gonna reach there you can't you can i guarantee you you can't reach your goal you can 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 reach your goal with these three basic needs very simple and you can basically just kick start yourself but how do you start? This is what I'm going to share next. And uh, if you want to sustain, I have a group class course, live course happening in May. And I have also personal guide. If you want to go deeper, I can do that with you. And we're going to build that together while I'm still practicing that. Yeah, so I have the... How do you say? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I think I'm done here. I'll see you next time. Ciao.